Second period about to begin here at Magnus Arena. Mitch Heider with you tonight along with J.D. Corbin. Mr. Corbin making his way back up from the locker room. Not easy on those uh, crutches. He is still brown after breaking that. Minnesota State has struggled mightily. Ooh, nice chip in front. But again, Menino equal to the task right there. Bress had the best chance. Now back the other way. Pioneers three on two. Shot score! From the left wing, Mr. Dingle has done it again, and the Pioneers lead less than two minutes into the second period. And right on cue, here comes J.D. Corbin again, right where he left off. Well, it's good to see. Again, uh, getting the puck up high on this goalie. Uh, we've scored a couple goals up high on him and been pretty successful by that, so uh, I guess we'll keep doing that, and it's good to get shots on that here. Dingle, second goal of the night, point number 21. Johnny sends it in, Trotter now trying to run it down. Hanson's got it for Minnesota State. There's the quick outlet. Now a little one-on-one -on -one situation developing here. Kalinski sends it on net. Menino got the initial stop, but the puck was free right on the doorstep, and the Pioneers dodge one there. The Denver's been outshot, as we mentioned, 12 of 17 games, but already they've got a 4-1 shots advantage here in the second period. Less than five minutes old. Sent around the boards. Pioneers get it back. Hanson will fire it in front. Pakovic nearly chipped that thing in. Just to the left of the net. Thomas gets it back. Tic-tac-toe right in front again. Pakovic right there. He is an immovable object out top. <laughs> Just outside the crease. Good puck movement though by the Pioneers. Look pretty sharp. That shot never got through. Minnesota State will take it away with 10 seconds to go on the power Six play. Six minutes gone. Here in the second period. 2-0. Denver on top. Takeaway right in front, Dingle looking for the old hat trick, and that shot never made it to the front of the net. Pioneers, though, keep it alive, moving his trotter to Dingle. And again, forced to make a big save is Zacharias. Good activity by the Pioneers to start the second period of play. Irwin comes back the other way for Minnesota State. Nice poke check there by Tessweet, and now the Pioneers a three-on-two developing the other way. Good work by Cook, kept it alive and got through the check. Out top, shot is blocked. Brookwell had a pretty good slap at it, but couldn't get through. Suddenly the intensity picking up here. The Pioneers sense the next goal is huge, and Minnesota State sensing the same, same thing for a different reason. Brookwell couldn't knock that one down, down the length of the elbow, bring it back the other way, but again, good offensive pressure by the Pioneers. Yeah, this line uh, of hands at Test Reed and Cooks, they've been good for us all season. Um, they're a line you can count on to go out there and play the body, be physical, hold their responsibilities, play well defensively, and, uh, you know, they've been a very reliable line for us, and uh, every night they go out there and play hard, which is good to see. It's good for the team. Guys see that and uh, kind of feed off that. Certainly Especially the nowadays, I mean, with the new rules that they're trying to apply and trying to open the game up a little bit more, you, you, you just have to show an effort to be going for the puck rather than you know, going for the big hit. So four on four for the next 40 seconds. Oh, shot on Neto Menino. Good react, and didn't like the extracurricular from Hansen. Good work, good hustle by Denver. And Butler's going to come up with it. Sends it back the other way. Shawnee steps in, moving in in front. That's Dingle again. Oh, excuse me, that was Trotter. Dingle's got the puck as we speak. Out top to Butler. Pioneers spreading the ice pretty good. Down low along the goal line again. We're giving going, unable to convert there. 12 seconds to go on the power play. Good clear by Menino, the outlet pass. Oh, big hit there, Vosburg paid the price. Right in the chin. Still a stray stick on the ice right near center ice. Warren's got it for Minnesota State. They desperately need a goal in this game. Kilbert shot, blocked by Mullen. Good job there to take it away. Sent right in front, Tyree doesn't get it. Menino makes the save as he goes down. Puck sent to the near side. Menino very, very sharp tonight. Kissio fires it on net. Right in front was Tyree, and Menino followed that one all the way as it sailed high and left. And here's looking for a clear. They'll get it. That centering pass taken away. Here comes Kalinski. Loss, excuse me. Thomas tries to slow him up. Short-handed. Minnesota State controlling play in front. 
That tip way off the mark. Menino just staying put so there. So far, so good for the Pioneers. They lead 2-0. It has been the Ryan Dingle show with a little help from Peter Menino. There's one of Menino's saves. He has been brilliant tonight. Really has not been really the force to make too many dramatic saves because the defense in front of him has been so very, very good. But there's a couple right there. And offensively, like I said, Ryan Dingle's just been doing it all by himself, streaking down the left side. He puts that one top shelf into the right corner. His second goal of the night came very close to a hat trick a moment later. But the second look at that goal, boy, that angle is awfully shallow, and he made it count. Ryan Dingle with both goals. Brock Trotter has an assist in this contest. And the Pioneers, more importantly, a very solid second period of play. There you see shots on goal, 17-15 in favor of the Pioneers. 15 saves for both goalies. Again, Menino perfect to date. Power play, really an issue for both teams. A big 0 for 0 for 4 and 0 for 5. Penalty minutes relatively even. Pretty quiet game in terms of extracurricular activity.